Hi there guys, my name is Joe and I want to show you how to make a tasty cold drip using your drip stuff. So, first things first, you need a good coffee. Um, I would recommend going to your local coffee roastery, or your favorite, get your favorite coffee. And it needs to be ground for something like French press or a coarse table salt. So, that comes in here where we have the super fine metal filter. And then you just want to sit everything on top here. Okay, water. So, with the valve closed, we're gonna put this on the top and fill it with filtered water at best. Now you can put ice cubes in here as well to make sure it's a cold extraction, or you can put the whole thing in the fridge as well afterwards. And I recommend using about seven to 10 grams per 100 milliliters of water. Once that's done, you can put the lid on. And we want to pre-wet the ground coffee. So you can do that nice and easily by simply opening the valve a little bit and dropping water onto the coffee grounds here. One thing which helps spread the water really nicely and evenly through the ground coffee is to use um, a metal filter or a paper filter. So Dripster have these especially for the Dripster. And you just want to sit that on top of the coffee. Once it's pre-wet, I can put everything back together. And now we're setting the drip. So, you just simply need to turn the valve and you want it to drop one drop of water per second, roughly. Now, you might need to check in once or twice to make sure that the water is dropping through regularly. Um, with, when you put less water in the top, there's less pressure. But otherwise, the whole thing's gonna be finished in about one to two hours. So after one or two hours, your cold drip is ready to go. So you just want to take the top part off. And uh, by the way, to clean these parts is super easy. The water part, you can just leave it to dry. And the coffee bit here, just knock the coffee out and uh, just give it a rinse with a little bit of washing up liquid to make sure that the coffee oils don't hang in the filter. In the bottom, you have your cold drip. Give it a good stir before you serve it. And then it's fantastic on ice, pure, or with tonic water, with milk, whatever you like. You can also make lovely cocktails with it, with or without alcohol. In your packaging with the Dripster, you have six ideas here as well, how you can make a really nice mixed drink with your culture. But otherwise, try stuff out, you know. Uh, see what floats your boat and uh, have fun with it. Oh, and if you have any questions, don't forget you can just get in touch with Dripster at any time. So write hands or fill up an email and uh, they'll get back to you as soon as they can.